drive safe. Hello everybody, it's me, Doug Sharples, and I'm going to take you on another Euro Truck Simulator 2 30 miles per hour challenge trip. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell notification for any further videos, and stick the thumb in the air and leave a like. Comments are welcome and feedback is gratefully received. I'll try and answer all your comments. So I picked this trailer and it's full of empty barrels from Libalula, which is in Timisoara in Romania. Uh, we all know that um, some of the Eastern Europeans do like a drink and all these are uh, empty alcohol barrels. All from the same place, but it must be very popular at the weekends. And I'm going to be transporting them to DSV in Albert Ulia. Where they're going to be recycled and made into a boat. So it's a total journey of 128 miles. Uh, once we drop the trailer at our destination, we're going to be paid a grand fee of 2,837 pounds in cold hard cash. So all donations from these firms are welcome to our ever expanding coffers of buggy transport. And this is at least until we buy our new truck. Get and we ready have to, to start turn right. right because we'll be skint. Turn right. Rerouting. So once again, I'm going to abuse this truck, which has been loaned to me, and and I've found another Scania dealer. What we're driving today is a Volvo F16 6x4, 12 speed gearbox, and a mighty 750 horses under the hood. And it's a beautiful truck on the inside and out. So, I was asked a question why I was doing the 30 mile an hour challenge. Get ready to turn and right. The aim of the challenge is to test myself on whether I can, when the opportunity arises, to see if I can do some long haul turn jobs right. whilst travelling at 30 mile an hour and still get to them on time. I've still got the sleep mode on and I have to have the brakes when told to do so. And if I find that I'm constantly late to jobs, then I will have to either A turn the need for brakes off and just be able to continually drive or B increase the speed in five mile an hour increments until the jobs have become so tight it will be a hit or miss whether I arrive on time whereas on the short haul deliveries like these that I'm doing now it's a, a challenge but it's a small challenge I can normally arrive on time because there's normally no need for me to take any rest but once the deliveries are more than 500 miles in distance for instance that is where the real challenge starts and the real test will start beginning because i can only at 30 miles an hour right. on a 10 hours it's a 300 mile grip or then i take the nine hour break or whatever it is 10 hour break which puts 10 hours onto the journey but every time turn the driver right. will level up the skill point of 10 goes on to the delivery distance now i know it's only six points but I've concentrated on the ADR moment on the ADR so what I've been doing is I've been concentrating on the ADR element the chemicals and you no know, the content the tankers so I'm hoping that goes somewhere to a little explanation of what my challenge is so what's been going on recently well on the 25th of September truckers MP did a live stream with an important announcement and that was that after the next ETS2 DLC map, they will be incorporating Pro Mods version 2.42 onto the multiplayer platform. And I find this this is going to be great news because it'll greatly enhance the multiplayer gameplay. And this should happen after SCS will release the Road to the Black Sea, which I'll purchase as soon as it's released. And then Pro Mods will take around a week or two to upgrade their maps and their sceneries. And once that's done, then Truckers MP should be working to incorporate the map onto their servers. So, exciting times ahead in the world of truck simming. SCS also revealed that on 26th of September they are releasing the Reynolds T series as a free Keep edition. Right, and then exit you just update right. your game on Steam and it will automatically be downloaded. And once downloaded, the T series will exit be available right. to buy at Reynolds dealers and consist of two cabs, six chassis, six engines, seven transmissions, five interiors, and loads of accessories couldn't tell you anything else other than what I've had, but I am sure that all you Renault buffs and Renault others, and this will be your primary truck at your first opportunity. 
but I must admit, looking at the screenshots, it does look like a very nice truck. I may even test it out myself at one point. I'm not a great lover of Renault trucks, but it does look really nice. And I must also add that SCS added some screenshots of the Turkish cities on the newest DLC, the Road to the Black Sea. I must say that I'm really impressed. If the rest of the cities are this good graphically, then this DLC is an absolute must for all you trucking enthusiasts. celebration time over the weekend in the Sharples household as I celebrated my <coughs> birthday on Saturday the 28th and I was pleasantly surprised when the missus apologised to me and told me that my birthday present won't be arriving until Monday. I already knew what was coming because I told her that I wanted a steering wheel which is the Logitech G920 so I can play it with my Xbox One as well. Because at this moment in time, I play all my driving games with a joystick. I've got the Thrustmaster Hoytus X, which is a good bit of kit. But now I can just concentrate using that on my flight simulators. But we're a quiet day as I don't drink alcohol. So we just had a chilled out day. And then she cooked me the more succulent T-bone steak. It was 16 ounces and it was just done to perfection. Because my I like my steaks and they'll have to move. I don't like on uh, well, Monday I was waiting impatiently for my steering wheel to arrive, which it does, with the six shifter gear stick as well, but unfortunately I couldn't open the boxes because I had to be somewhere else. So, on Tuesday I dropped my daughter off at school in eager anticipation of what awaited me when I got home. So as a thank you for the message back at breakfast, no big surprise, but then came the unboxing. Come to me 
desk. I thought, no problem, I'm sure I can get some spaces and, you know, or make some wedges from some styrofoam that I probably have knocking about around the house. Couldn't find any. That's alright. So I'll unbox the steering wheel and the pedals. Now, I know I'll have a problem because my PC desk, even though it's got my two monitors on it and I've got one at the side, it has a centerpiece that runs straight through the middle on a stand at the bottom. So I knew my pedals won't go straight underneath my desk. <coughs> and it's the same distance from where the stand finishes to the edge of my desk. So the pedals and my steering wheel are at the same distance. So I'd end up in my chair with the distance away but I'd be leaning forward into my desk to steer which would make it really uncomfortable and bad for my back. But that's not the big, that weren't the biggest problem because the steering wheel fitted onto the desk because it has spaces with it anyway. Uh, the cable management was good because it all fitted behind my desk. The biggest problem came when I tried to get ETS 2 to work with my steering wheel and it wouldn't recognise it. But after about three or four hours of faffing about and going onto the Logitech site looking for updated versions of drivers and updated firmware, I couldn't find any. But it ended up me going onto YouTube watching some guy in decent enough English to show me how to get the drivers but the problem was all his PC um, settings and everything were in Spanish I don't speak Spanish so bingo what I had to do was delete what it had already recognised without the drivers put it back into the USB 3.0 and download the drivers and put it the drivers to use it because of my desk and my squeaky chair that's my squeaky chair so next up is a new desk and another chair and I've been stalking eBay for a racing seat oh, they're all overpriced uh, the reason I need a new desk it's got to be a two tiered desk because I can't wall mount my monitors because plasterboard wall I don't want to hold the weight of them especially if I have um, the stanchion you know the um, where I can connect two monitors to it, it won't hold the weight. So now I've got to rearrange my office Keep left to accommodate and then continue my straight on. Go straight on.
Get ready to turn left. Well, after the funky music on our trip, this music is not what I want to call this right. But it's another city that's been discovered. Turn left. Hey, by Julia.
take some shunting to get this spot on. Uh, I need to be as close to those containers as I possibly can get. on parking. Not almost perfect, I'm not that thin. Thumbs up, it helps this channel out.